Welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa. So today I'm coming to you with the 26 week challenge and life update. But before we get into it, please hit the notification bell. On this channel, I share about saving, investing, budgeting, and I am striving for financial freedom. I joined the 26 week challenge on Keenan Grace's discord at the beginning of this year. Um, I'm 18 weeks in, I have eight weeks to go, and I'm pretty much at the halfway point as far as achieving my 5K savings. I post weekly in the Discord, but I haven't done a YouTube update in a while. Um, this is my second time around doing this type of 26-week uh, challenge. The first time around, I focused on credit card debt and trying to get some savings built up for emergencies as well as to get started with my, um, to stay consistent with my uh, investing. But this time around, I started by pairing the 26 week challenge with my investing challenges and goals um, and going forward for the rest of the 26 week challenge, I'll be setting myself up for some upcoming expenses that I'll be having later this year. When the challenge was presented to us, it came with some suggested uses. It's a savings challenge, but um, what you're saving for and what you use the money for depends on where you're at in your life. If you have high interest credit card debt, knock that out first. If you don't have an emergency fund, focus on that. And then you can make a plan for investing for the future. So here's a look at my spreadsheet. I track in uh, Google Sheets right on my phone and I'll also throw in a few examples of what I was doing with my weekly savings amount. Okay, so I guess it's time to get into the life update portion of the video. So I got my bonus at the beginning of April and I thought I'd be using it to knock out some of the bigger buckets, the two and three hundred dollars um, in my savings schedule. Um, but that didn't happen. I was met with some reality once I got my taxes together. I got my taxes filed on time, but going into late March, early April, I was still gathering documents, catching up on my bookkeeping for my business. And once everything was done, I, um, yeah, I was hit with the reality that I had to pay back. I was hit with the numbers. So I focused on taking care of that and I made some adjustments to my withholdings to make sure that I don't run into this again if things don't change for me um, throughout 2023. So I don't want to give the government a free loan. And what I mean by that is I'm not looking to get a refund but I don't want to pay back a large sum either. So I had to take some time to evaluate things and hopefully I've come up with a good balance so I won't be too far on either end of the spectrum, getting a refund or having to pay back. I'll be pushing through the remainder of uh, my eight weeks. Okay, so yeah, no fun increasing my withholding decreasing my pay on both of my jobs, but I'm glad that I haven't run into any debt that I couldn't address immediately. I'm equally happy that I have been able to continue um, to invest because I do want to retire early. I do want tens of thousands of dollars in my dividend portfolio. So I'm going to stay consistent. I'm gonna have savings on hand so that I can deal with the unexpected. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye.